Hey, what is good? What is good? Kazama Fury here, and here I am making another video, of course, because it's been a while since I made one. That's just not the reason, but um been busy lately and everything. But I just wanted to really talk about why I don't really play games too tough anymore when it comes to um, anything current. And the biggest reason is, is because I can't trust the genre. I really can't. And it's in the age of microtransactions and knowing that if you just bought a game, let's say case in point, I pull out any game here, any current gem game here, something like this. Let's say, for example, Infinite Warfare right here. Never opened it. Got it for dirt cheap. Never opened it. But you know what? Still though, knowing that I'm going to have to come up my pocket extra to play something like this because it's just not enough. You need a season pass for games to really get your full potential out of it, to get your full money's worth. After you done plunked down 60 goddamn dollars, you still need more money to finish a game. Now, I will understand if that game was fucking just... It took long as shit. It was epic. It was full. It, it wasn't... It, it didn't, like, linger or uh, anything. And it had shit for you to really do. Not repetitive shit like Phantom Pain had. Love the game, but let's keep it real. It was repetitive. You could tell that that game was cut short. But that's me going into that shit once again. Let's stay on point here. Now, if it had a lot of stuff to actually get through, worthy substantial gameplay and then you telling me I'm gonna pay thirty dollars for more maybe fifty percent more fifty percent of what I was playing for that full one hundred percent done sixty dollar game I'm gonna get more no it's like this today you're gonna to get the bare minimum you're gonna get the bare minimum and then you're gonna end up paying for the stuff, the, the stuff that you're supposed to. It's like getting a skeleton. It's like paying to have a clone on yourself and you get a fucking skeleton only and you gotta pay for the flesh, the bones, and the organs and shit like that. That's basically what the game is. The game is fucking skeletons. That's what the games are now. This is why I don't play stuff too tough and, and I kind of hover and look for, I hover and gravitate to one player games. Why? And because it's a one player game. It's basically what you see is what you get for the most part. Unless it's Capcom or some shit like that when it comes to Resident Evil 7. But that's another story. Anyway. You want more for your games. I want more for my games. I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of this shit. I don't. It's not really much I can say. Or define, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of paying for a game. I'm like, you want they want you to pay $90. This is why when they have these these sales and it's like 30 bucks there. This game here is on sale for 30 bucks. Okay, it's usually $60. You think about it like this. You're still gonna end up paying $60, which is fine. Because if you let's say case of point, call of duty again. I got $30. I spent $30 on this, for example. And then I ended up buying the season pass for what? How much is the season pass is now? 30 or what? They 50? Are they they really 50? God damn it, man. Either way, you're screwed. You're still paying more than the 60 initially for the game. So I don't really know what the fuck to tell you people and stuff. All my subscribers, you already know how it is. This is why I play a lot of old school. So if it ain't because I'm stuck in the past, I really like gaming still but i really can't trust the developers i really can't i mean i've tried and i'm like oh wow star wars battlefront you know thanks to people like young yeah i'm able to actually see that this game is just it, it's a waste of time especially to somebody who doesn't want to pay for microtransactions it's a waste of time it's like ice skating uphill all right it's like the, what the, the nerd used to say, it's like pick, picking fly shit from Pepper while wearing boxing gloves. That shit, I mean, why would you want to do that? But we 
people like me come to blows all the time. Well, not physically, but verbally come to blows with a lot of people who just be like, wow, this is that. You stuck in the past and things. They And all this other stuff. You got to understand, some of these people are younger than me. Some of them have brainwashed themselves into paying for everything and digging is totally fine. Some are young enough to just be indoctrined into this nature of gaming. Like they're indoctrined into um, this style of microtransaction. You, like, this, they, I just hearing stories all over the internet about people kill children getting in trouble for going into their mother or their father's um, wallet and using a credit card to buy microtransaction stuff. But yet EA will say that loot boxes is not predatory gambling and doesn't induce or it doesn't induce gambling tendencies in youth. That's why there's such a big vote against it from different states, from Hawaii to a few other countries too and other some other states that I just can't remember right now. But look into it. There's definitely a problem with this. And my thing is I'm not I don't have a gambling nature but I know when I'm being taken to the cleaners and I don't want to be taken to the cleaners no more. I'm sick and tired of how the gaming industry is. But I just can't. It's, what can I do? Jack shit, but vote with my wallet individually. Will it lessen the amount of games I play? Yes. But at the end of the day, I save more money for it. So to any of my subscribers and anyone watching this video, vote with your wallet. You know, and make you know you. I'm just one voice, but collectively, we. You know what? I, I backtrack. We could make a difference. People have made a difference. Look what happened. In Star Wars Battlefront. I just remember Star Wars Battlefront took a hit, a massive hit, to the fact that Disney is thinking about parting ways with EA. They're thinking. They really thinking about that because of the way EA business practice. That's why EA is voted the worst company probably in North America if not the world to work for because of shit like this they, they don't give a damn and Capcom is probably Japan's version of EA you know same shit just really just want to just nickel and dime the people and I know I said I ain't want to talk about Resident Evil 7 but fuck it I ain't got shit to say about that fucking game. Fuck that game. I know I bought it pre-owned and I promised one of my subscribers I'm going to play it. I really don't want to fucking play it. I played through the first few minutes of it. I already know what's going to happen. It doesn't feel exciting. You know, that shit don't even feel... Ex I mean, I played Resident Evil 2 numerous amounts of times. Hell, I just started playing new Nemesis more. Because I, I kind of just overlooked Nemesis because I still was stuck on 2 so much. Even when Nemesis came out a couple years later, like a year or later and stuff. That shit right there is more exhilarating playing through it different times than fucking playing through it um Resident Evil 7. You know why? Because even playing through numerous times, you kind of have... I go into it cold. I got so many other games I play, so many other things in my life. I'm like, oh shit, where do I go? And people watch me stream it. And I'm like, damn, where did, was I supposed to get that? Do that, do that. It, it feels new each time and that's just not me being narrow minded it just does it feels those like the old school Resident Evil's feel fun like they feel fun you start streaming it talking to people asking them online stuff like that as you do the streams 7 <sighs> no it doesn't and I've recently had somebody get at me trying to tell me that 7 was a success no it wasn't just because something didn't sell too shabby, if it sells less than its predecessors, it's a, it hasn't done well. If it sells less than projected, it does it just doesn't do well. Case in point, Resident Evil 2 in 1998 on PlayStation 1 alone, not counting the Dreamcast, not counting the PC ports, not counting any other system port. PlayStation alone sold 4.96 million copies. Nearly 5 million copies. And you telling me that Resident Evil 7, which comes out, which came out on the PC, Xbox One, and PS4, sells 4.8 million copies to this date. 
and it has multiple platforms to be sold on. And you consider it a hit. Somebody told me it was one of the best selling games in next last year. Who fucking cares about a year? We talking about lifetime sales. You telling me that a game back twenty years, a twenty year old game on one console sold more than a current gen sequel to it on multiple platforms. And it's a success. No, the fuck it isn't. And that's how I'm going to end this video. <laughs> I'm just, you know. So anyway, keep watching what you want. Keep gaming the way you want. Keep being you, because I'm a fury. And if you like our Resident Evil 7, I ain't got no problems with that. But don't come to my page trying to change my mind about something. I don't go to I don't go to your jaw kicking dicks out your mouth. So don't come to mind. You can say I respectfully disagree and stuff, but you trying to tell you trying to go left and right with numbers. What for? It's all about the gameplay experience as well. That factors in, not just numbers. You know, we got a lot of rappers out here who sell plenty of albums and their music is shit. All right, so remember that. Just because something sells a good amount and then get good word of mouth from a bunch of people who don't respect the franchise or don't know shit about the past franchise, doesn't mean it's good. You know, I could be a new rap fan and just think Lil Uzi Vert is the best rap I've ever heard in my life, but I've never and I could have never listened to Mob Deep or listened to um, Kendrick Lamar or listened to Jay Z. Or listen to Tito Lopez, or at least listen to fucking um, Black Sheep back in the day, or the Trial Court Quest. I could have, I could have just skipped over them and been put on to my first rap, which was a shitty ass Lil Uzi Vert song, and just think he's the greatest thing ever. And that's how I think a lot of people have approached Re. But that's just me. So anyway, for real this time, peace.